everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and welcome to part four of How to Buy a Stroller. Today, we are tackling the double stroller. Now, whether you are having twins, or your second, third, or fourth child, or bless your heart, your fifth child, if you have two kids under the age of four, you're gonna need a double stroller. So today, we're gonna go through the different kinds of double strollers and the features that you need to consider. There are two main categories when it comes to double strollers. You've got the side-by-side -side double and a tandem stroller. And that's the biggest question most parents have is, which one do you get, right? Well, that's a matter of personal preference. But I'm going to tell you which one is my favorite category in a second. But first, we're going to go through the different kinds. Now, the tandem stroller. Tandem stroller has a, two seats, one in front of the other. And there's actually a subcategory called the inline tandem stroller. And that is what the Bright Tex Be Ready falls in. And instead of two full size seats as a traditional tandem, it has a smaller seat back here that can be removed so that you could use the stroller as a single stroller or you can add it to make it a double. So that's why we call it an inline tandem. Usually when you add the second seat, it's a more compact stroller, but the second seat usually has a lower weight capacity because it's a little bit smaller. So that's what makes it an inline stroller is because you can add that second seat. A traditional tandem stroller, two seats, always there, always a double stroller. And this one, okay, so the tandem, a little bit harder to push because it is a longer stroller. Now, side by side, side by side obviously has two seats side by side. And this one is actually my preference. If I were to pick a double stroller, I would pick a side by side. And there are some few, there's a few reasons for it. First of all, I think it's easier to push because it's not as long. A longer stroller is harder to maneuver. I also like the fact that kids sit right next to each other. So if they are feeling friendly, they can play, they can talk, they can see each other. Another thing is I don't have to pick a favorite child to sit in the front seat because clearly one child is going to have the better view, right? And usually you put the baby in the back. But if you have twins, which one are you going to pick to sit in the front, right? So there's no choosing a favorite child when it comes to a side-by-side -side because they're on equal footing. Also, if you live in a city or you need to bump the stroller up on curbs a lot, which means bringing those front wheels up to get up on a curb, a side-by-side is going to be easier to do that because with a tandem stroller, you got a lot of weight in the front to kind of make it more muscle to get it up on that curve. So that is another reason that I like the side-by-side. -side. Now you must be worrying, oh, okay, so here's the thing. You're in a store, you're never gonna fit this through. Here's the thing. With stores, they've gotta have the aisles big enough for a wheelchair and your double stroller is never gonna be bigger than a wheelchair. So don't have to worry about that. But the key to picking a double stroller category is you need to measure your doors. If you live in this really cool, funky New York apartment that has tiny doors, and you know a double stroller side by side is not gonna fit, well, you have to get a tandem because if it doesn't fit through your doorway, that's a problem. Um, but most houses and most obviously stores, they all have to fit a wheelchair. They all are standard doors. What you have to worry about is where you live. So you wanna make sure it is gonna fit if you decide to get the side by side. So let's go through the actual things that you need to think of once you've decided side by side or tandem. Okay, it's time to go through with my three questions for you. First is lifestyle. What is your lifestyle? That's gonna determine what type of double stroller you need. Maybe you travel a lot and you need a lightweight um, double stroller like the Brightex Be Agile. Or maybe you live off a gravel road and you have a lot of you know cobblestone streets. You might look into an all-terrain. Or maybe you're a jogger. You like to exercise a lot and you like to hit the road with both kids. You might need a double jogger. So you need to determine what kind of double stroller besides just tandem and side-by-side -side, you're gonna need. Now the second is the budget. Double strollers, they range from 100 to over $1,500 for the fancy schmancy ones. So you're gonna have to kind of figure out your budget before you look at which category you're going to buy in a double stroller. And the third one, and the most important, are the features. Now you're gonna have to go through the features and decide what's most important for you. Now here's what you wanna look at with features. First, let's start with canopy because I'm already here. I prefer two separate independent canopies. There are strollers on the market that have one big canopy. That's a problem when you have two kids. One doesn't want to sit in the sun and one does. So if you have independent canopies like the Brightex Be Agile, they can have their own identity with their own canopy, right? <laughs> you also, all of them have the side-by-sides have separate seats as to do the tandems. You want to make sure that you have some type of recline. A deep recline is better for napping. And since they're independent reclines, one could be napping while one is looking out at the world. So make sure those seats are, they both have reclines. 
You want to have roomy seats because kids grow and you're going to try to put three, two three-year-olds in here. You want to make sure they're still going to fit. Now, handlebars. Whether you're tall or short, I highly recommend getting an adjustable or at least a tall handlebar. That is going to save your back or your husband's back when you're out and about. Now, basket. Do not skimp on the size of your double stroller basket because with a double stroller, that means two kids, two times the amount of stuff in that basket. So make sure it is a big basket that is easy to access. Now wheels are super important when it comes to a double stroller because this baby is going to be rolling with twice the weight. So you want to make sure you have good wheels. Good wheels means a smooth ride for your kids, which means happier kids. And we all want that when kids are in the stroller. So if you're getting a lightweight stroller, you know what? want to make sure you have good tires, but they're not going to be heavy duty air filled tires because that would add bulk and weight to your stroller. So just make sure they are good. And suspension is your friend. I'm telling you, suspension is going to absorb some of those bumps, especially if you live somewhere where there's gravel roads, cobblestone, grass, um, any kind of all terrain like that. Now, if you're speaking of all terrain, if you're going with an all terrain stroller, make sure you have heavy duty wheels because the wheels are what's going to get over that all terrain. So pay attention to the wheels. You probably don't want plastic wheels on your stroller if you plan to use it for years to come. If you're just using it for just these two kids and you're out, then it's not so big a deal because you're on a budget. If you're, you know, if you can stretch your budget a little bit more, make sure the wheels are good. The fold of the stroller is super important as well. Here is a tip of advice. You do not want to have to remove two seats from the chassis in order to fold it. Think of it this way. You'd have two seats, two kids, and a chassis. That's too many. So you want to make sure you find a stroller that is easy to fold all in one piece if you can. And they're out there, whether it's side by side or tandem, even the Brightex Be Ready, the inline strollers, can fold with the second seat attached, which is awesome. So you want to make sure you get an easy fold. So let's get back to the main question, side by side or tandem. That's up to you people. <laughs> I told you that my lifestyle leans toward the side by side, but maybe that's not your lifestyle. You need to figure out your lifestyle, your budget, and the features that are most important to you, and you measure your doorways, and that will help you out. These inline strollers, I'm telling you, they have come a long way because they're much more compact than those huge boats that we had quite a few years ago. <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean it's for everybody. And the side-by-sides, some people don't like them side-by-side. -side. They don't like a wide stroller like this. So again, totally up to you, but there are options out there for everybody. There are also, there are even side-by-sides and tandems that accept two infant car seats. So if you're having twins, make sure you look at that feature. If you're having twins and you're planning to use infant car seats, you want them both on that stroller. So um, a really nice feature, and there's only a few on the market that do it. Um, the Brightex Be Ready is one of them, and there are um, side-by-side -side strollers even. They kind of stack them stadium style. It's really cool. So look at that as well. So that's it. That's that's kind of how to buy a double stroller. Um, just go through those three things, like I said, lifestyle, budget, and features to figure out which one's best for you. And good luck with those two kids. <laughs> well, maybe you don't have two, maybe you have five. I don't know, but you need a double stroller for some reason. Oh, and you know what? There's one more category too I forgot to tell you about. Um, let's say you have three kids under the age of five, and good Lord bless your heart for that too. Um, there are strollers out there that have jump seats, so for a third child to sit up in front. Now you're going to take that jump seat off when you're folding it, but let me tell you, when you're looking for a stroller for three, you take what you can get. So just know that there are strollers out there with jump seats if you need one for three kids, or you can get a traditional three triple stroller. <laughs> Those are huge though. So that's it for me. Um, leave me a comment. What are your must have features when you pick a double stroller? And join us next week as we tackle the sports strollers, the all-terrain and the jogging strollers for our fifth and final episode of How to Buy a Stroller. It will be on our YouTube channel at 9 a.m. next Tuesday. So I will see you there. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye.